What's up, you guys? And welcome back to Tune In Tuesdays with your favorite gals, the H's. I'm Haley. And I'm Hannah. Let's get synced. Turn it up, turn it up. Y'all already know what time it is. Hell yeah. Season four? What? No. That's yes. wild. <laughs> 46 that episodes, four crazy. seasons, y'all didn't countless be hours. But countless hours. Welcome, welcome, everyone. It's been a hot minute. Oh, gosh. When was our last episode? End of January? Fast forward. Here we are, three months later. We have missed the cast dearly thank you for joining us today if you're new or you're coming back we are so excited to just be on the pod again we have missed talking to all of you so without further ado han how is the vibes the vibes are the best they've been in years the vibes are they're high What's mm. another way to describe them? Immaculate. Right? <laughs> <laughs> swell. <laughs> Swelly swell. <laughs> Harry, are you done with that? <laughs> just kidding. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Kidding. On know. a previous episode. <laughs> guys, if you've listened to any of our episodes ever before, Haley is always swell. So we've said we would love a compilation of all those swells, swells, swells. How's your vibe, for real? My vibe is wonderful and fantastic. I think the word I might go with this season is divine Ooh, I, I don't like know that. i've i just got done watching the bridgerton season two so i've been doing a lot of bridgerton speak like jake was like would you like some ice cream last night and i was like well yes my lord that would be most agreeable yes grace. <laughs> <laughs> yes your grace <laughs> so uh we've been swell this way i mean <laughs> there it is really just gotta pop that one in there real quick for the one time one time um, we're divine. Everything over here has been peachy keen. Really no complaints. Been busy just being busy. I don't even know. I feel like yes. I blinked and here we are again on season four and we could not be more excited. So the vibe is high. I'm happy to be here and we are ready to bring you all this fresh content We really are. We have missed the podcast so much, even though we haven't recorded during our during our holiday um, we have texted about it and like, I'll just randomly text Haley. I'd be like, I miss you in pod. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Nice. We have a long list of topics and ideas that we're cooking up behind the yes. scenes. So listen, I would like some, some ideas. Well, you're going to laugh. Well, you're probably not. I don't give a fuck, but <laughs> <laughs> do you ever have like an idea or you just think of something and you are not in the space to write it down, even like notebook paper on your phone or something. So that really? always happens to me. Like in the shower, I have some really good ideas in the shower. Um, it's a daily occurrence. So hopping out the shower, popping some ideas, you know, you know, just because we haven't been recording, we have been brainstorming. We are innovative gals over here. Yeah, that happens to me all the time. And then I tell myself, I'll remember that. I don't need to write it down. Yep. Yeah. 15 minutes goes by, gone, lost. The thought is never coming <laughs> I back. I should have written that down. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, kicking myself. Absolutely. But before we jump in to what we've been up to and what's going on, I had to bring a very pressing and exciting topic up really quick. Um, while we have been in our little hiatus in between seasons, I have taken it upon myself to try and accomplish something greater than just me. And recently, I have joined a team of women because go women. Yes. And there's 10 of us. We are fundraising funds for the Leukemia and Lymphoma Society. And our goal is to reach $72,000 in about 10 weeks. So we've already hit 7000 So we are chugging along. And I would encourage anyone who's been affected by cancer in any form or fashion, if you would like to donate, please do so. We're going to put the link for where you can donate to my page, which I have a page just so it makes it a little more convenient for you to go ahead and enter a donation. But I do not 
profit or benefit from your donation in any way. This is solely out of the kindness of my heart. Unfortunately, I've had too many people in my life affected by cancer. My mom had breast cancer in 2015. My best friend had tongue cancer. And I just found out recently that my college advisor was diagnosed with stage four non-Hodgkin's lymphoma. So this is very near and dear to my heart. And if you don't have the funds to spend, I understand these are pressing times out here in this economic climate. Please share. Please ask anyone if they would share or donate even a dollar. Fifty cents. I don't care. I mean, forego maybe one coffee and uh, put it towards a good cause. So if you want to know more about that, feel free to slide into the DMs. But we will put the link for that Mm -hmm. in the link tree, which if you're not familiar with, slide on over to our Instagram, synced underscore podcast, and you will find it. If you're a friend of mine and you're listening, it's on my personal Instagram as well. And if you're not a friend of mine, I think you can still access it. So... (laughs) look me up (laughs) we're gonna be doing that for the next 10 weeks anybody that's interested in a little filo a little botox we are selling 25 dollar event tickets to a boutique in charlotte at the pearl pagoda for 25 dollars girl you get some free cocktails you get to shop the exclusive finds at this boutique and for 50 dollars you can get some lip filler Mm. and for a small donation of any kind you can get some botox so compliments Uh of ray med spa in charlotte so check them out i will have all that information again in the link tree so sign me up do something nice yeah i mean do something nice for yourself and let's beat cancer i mean really everybody wins so let's get behind it but enough about that let's move on oh we gotta set it off we gotta set it off (laughs) (laughs) Y'all, things have been heating up over here since we've been gone. Oh Some major God. life events have happened. Maybe. We are moving on bettering ourselves. And Han has some news to share with us. So let us know, Han. Take a seat, everyone. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> you can keep going what you're doing. <laughs> oh, my gosh. I love being so dramatic. That's one of my favorite characteristics. Um, no, I do have some big news. This has been a lot has happened. Since the end of January, Mm -hmm. um, I entered into a new decade, which was huge. Um, Had a great time. Um, The friends planned. Yeah. 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 I forgot. (laughs) So I was under the impression that for my 30th, it was just going to be like a little. I knew that we were going out of town because Zach, my husband, had secured the sitter aka for our dog (laughs) my mom for us to go out of town so I was like oh we're definitely going out of town I just thought it was just like a little two-person getaway it turns out that there were like behind the scene plans that had been made to celebrate me and some of my besties and their mans and it was just (laughs) such a good time we went to Asheville you guys know that I got picking up in the wind by like a sheet (laughs) I don't even know what that means, but I just can see a clothes line and a sheet is horizontal. And that was me. I was very unwell that night, but I got it together after a little, (laughs) after a little (laughs) street who you can, you know, y'all know some, I got rallied after a little, yes. And my favorite part was, yeah, chicken wings. (laughs) <laughs> in the tiniest chicken wings you've ever seen might i add very delicious so good <laughs> yeah during my sick session um my friend samantha sam from uh what episode was that episode four four one oh my god <laughs> we gotta get her back um she's got to come back on here um my best friend sam overheard the conversation of like these young girls don't know what they were saying. Obviously, I was not there. One, I couldn't hear anyways. <laughs> Even if I would have been right there, I couldn't hear. And they said something like, aw. And Sam was like, she's 30. <laughs> He's like, aw. Like, I don't know. Like, oh, yeah, yeah. They were, there was these two girls. Is she okay? <laughs> sitting in the window at this little, we were at a, a, ch- a French a, chocolate shop. Yes. Disgusting. <laughs> 
there's these two gals looking at the window and poor hands just needed to take a moment to to gather herself if you will first of all i would like to preface (laughs) with saying this place was absolutely fucking slammed and these assholes all had me go sit at a couch like i'm in central perk coffee at fucking friends tv show so i go sit on this couch by myself i'm sorry for all the f words mimi that's Zach's grandmother. I need to go ahead. I've already said it a lot, and it's only been a few minutes. <laughs> Y'all, we waited in line at this little chocolateria, I think is yes. what you call that. And they sent me to minutes. go hold down the fort, and you guys just heard 40 minutes. I was already drunk. My plan was to sit there for five minutes. They were going to come. I already knew what I had to do. I was like, I'm going to find the bathroom, because one, I don't know where it is. So I was like, I'm going to find the bathroom. So I'm sitting there, and I am not good. I'm good for 15 minutes and then I'm, I'm, I'm tipping. I'm on the edge and I lock eyes with Haley, other Haley. Mm-hmm. And I look at her and I like give her the weakest come here, like hand signal. Like I do remember that. And she comes over, she comes over. I get up from the couch. I like barely look at her. I point to the couch and I'm like, hold it. And I run. I mean, this place was slammed. Like, there was a line in the door, like, out, actually out and wrapped around. So, like, yes. I had to, I just ran outside and started violently vomiting in this little tree on the side of downtown Asheville. And it was terrible. Yeah. yeah. And these little girls, I'm not going to say little girls, they're... maybe the, these young women. <laughs> saw hannah from no we're gonna say little girls if they don't understand that (laughs) you are not a woman if you're not (laughs) they were in the window and you know hannah's having a moment and they're like oh my gosh is she okay and sam goes she just turned 30 (laughs) the girls go (laughs) (laughs) oh the best part was is like i wasn't even like squatted down y'all i was my knees were completely buckled and straight and I was just, my hands were like on my waist and I was just hinged over and Haley was holding my hair. And this man walked by and was like, is she going to be all right? And Haley was like, yeah, man. Like, <laughs> <laughs> Keep it moving, Buster. I do remember that. Yeah. It, so that I, was a time. I wish I remembered the name of this little chocolateria because she was about a three out of ten. The cake that I had, I can't remember. drier than the Sahara. It was and terrible. The coffee was not great. I mean, my coffee was a saving grace. I don't know. It was the only thing that I could my find enjoyable. Was my saving grace. I don't really know what we were thinking because we had dinner reservations like an hour later. I ate a whole piece of cake. Everyone else was like eating a little snack. Anyways. That was fine. Three out of ten. If I can remember the name. I can't remember I'll it either. Y'all I'll, yeah, I'll have to look it up. But... The even bigger news than entering a new decade. And actually on the same day, the same day that I entered into my new decade on my birthday, I was offered a new position. And I had been on the job hunt for a little bit. So I was so excited. I secured something that I was really, really, really hoping for. And now I'm going into my third week of my new job. I'm absolutely loving it. Um, Those of you may or may not have known, but I was actually an elementary school teacher. (laughs) I think think in the first episode we ever did, which feels like it was forever ago, I think you were like, you know, we're, we're... from what I recall, because I think I listened to that episode like 25 times. <laughs> yeah. I, I'm like, oh, I just graduated grad school. And you go, I work in... I'm in the field of academics. <laughs> education? Oh, <it> education. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, I, um, I was an elementary teacher. I love teaching. Um, the best part about being a teacher is teaching. Duh. Um... But I, a ship arrived at the port, and I said, I'm going to jump on it. (laughs) Listen, sometimes you got to be open to better opportunities when they arise, so. Yeah, and I'm excited. Oh, my gosh. If I could just, like, I can't even put my excitement into words besides saying that I'm excited and... (sighs) Have you have you ever seen that thing where it's like when you're feeling down, try to focus on the things that you once really tried to manifest or prayed for or thought Mm -hmm. of or Mm -hmm. just you wanted it to become true. And Mm -hmm. you really do have to just bask in those moments. And it has just been so 
just blissful. I mean, don't get me wrong. I'm, and the people are probably wondering, like, what are you doing now? Like, what do you do after teaching? Um, I'm no longer in education. (laughs) (laughs) But I am excited for a completely new career change. Mm -hmm. And I'm just flooded with information right now. So I'm still new at this. Like, so we're just fumbling through it, being excited. And I have made some new little work friends. They have been some super sweeties. Um, That's the best. Just a good welcoming face every day. Like, and they're in my cohort of Mm -hmm. people who are hired on at the same time. So we're going through the onboarding and all the training. We have like six weeks of training and it's like pretty intense. Um, So it makes it easier. Yeah. And there's like, (laughs) y'all, there's math. Man. There is math. I would have said, peace out, <laughs> not for me. Yeah. <laughs> so um, it's it's just been, I mean, 10 out of 10 would recommend if you even have the hunch of wanting to try something new or different or change jobs or change careers, do it. Um, because I was kind of in this gray spot and I was like, Ugh. no, your job's not going to make you happy. But depending on what you do for a job and what it pours back into you will. So listen to those thoughts, pay attention to your intuition and what you Mm -hmm. think and how you feel and that self-talk surrounding something, including your jobs, your relationships, your friendships. Speaking of friendships, Uh, y'all know our gal gal has been on the move to try to make some new friends out in her new city. Still a new city. I mean, you've been out there for a long time. Yeah. I mean, Hannah's over here getting promotions. I'm out here (laughs) trying to like just get some tacos. Beg someone to, like, <laughs> get queso with me, which yeah. I think is a divine offer, but un- unfortunately, we have had no takers. Yeah, as you, uh, if you're just tuning in, I'm originally from Charlotte, North Carolina. Shout out to the hometown. Miss her dearly. But I'm having a time out here in Durham. I've been here for a little over, well, not quite a year. I was in Raleigh for some time, but almost a year here in Durham. Really been enjoying it. I like the area. It actually reminds me a lot of Charlotte, tons of stuff to do, always something going on. But because I've moved kind of really just in the depths of the pandemic, the crises, if you, season season one, flashback. Um, Uh-oh, not the crises. <laughs> since moving in the pandemic, really, it's been a struggle to find friends out here. And I feel like maybe there's some people out there that are listening that can relate. I feel like once you get out of yeah. college and or high school, or wherever you were last, where there were lots of people around you that were in the same age range, it's very difficult, at least it has been for me, and I think from what I've heard from several other people, it can be hard to find friends out here, and the pandemic's really just complicated that process, because, you know, I don't really go out for one, or haven't been going out now that things are calming down, like I've been trying to go out and you know, do some more things lately, but Mm -hmm. you never know if you approach someone and they're like comfortable with that or, um, which is just an intimidating situation, I think for a lot of people anyways. So I just haven't really been doing that, which I I would probably normally would because I'm just a very outgoing person, but you know, your gal has been looking for some friends and I was like, you know, let's try, let's try like the dating app, but like for friendships. <laughs> didn't even know, I did not even know that that was a thing. Yeah. So, um, if you guys are also unaware, Bumble has a Bumble BFF where you literally like kind of date your friends. It's yeah. very interesting. So I made a little account in my attempt to find some homies and I have some mixed thoughts and opinions about this whole experience (laughs) because right like I feel like I have questions because it's like it is a process (laughs) it's like on real bumble which to be honest that is where my husband and I actually reconnected like we had met in real life and then I mean but would we have ever spoken again had we not I don't know. I like to think yes because, you know. Fate. Fate is fate. Yeah. Yeah. But it's crazy. It is pretty crazy. I think most, I would say 80% of my friends' relationships, and including my own, were formed on a dating app. So I was like, naturally, you know, let's give this a try for friends, especially during these, you know, COVID and everything. I was like, maybe this is the way to go. And I have some mixed emotions, right? Because if you've ever been on Bumble... It's 
basically you post pictures of yourself or in my case like i posted pictures of me and some other friends just to show that like i do have friends (laughs) you 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 kind of reply to some prompts and try to give a little feel for who you are in a very like abbreviated manner but Obviously, like when you're on Bumble date, right, which is what they call the dating portion of the app, like you are swiping probably because you think people are good looking, right? Like you don't know them (laughs) unless they say something obscene in their bio. You're probably going to swipe because you find them attractive. So I I never know what the motive is (laughs) for people (laughs) to like swipe on me when they're want to be my friend or whatever initiate conversation right. like do you think can i I'm... see your profile how can i, I see your we'll, profile we'll go over what's on the profile just okay. so y'all can get a get a, a feel for what's going on here but um so they have questions about how old you are your occupation and mm-hmm. then you can post a couple pictures so my profile has this little this is my little my little uh first photo you what scroll up photo. on she's an outgoing gal <laughs> she likes to show a little shoulder she's she not likes to button super down. conservative exactly so my little profile just says moved to the triangle area in february looking for some local gal pals who were down for just about anything all right short sweet to the point was yeah. really good I say, I'm looking for anything. I'm in a relationship. No kids. I drink socially and I moved here recently and I'm a Taurus because people really like to know that kind of stuff. They really do. <laughs> I don't know. But, um, Girls do specifically. like Maybe I just need to amp my game up because I'm going to be real honest with you. I match with some people. But they're just dry as hell. Like, you know, there's just like no personality, which is an interesting dynamic, because what do you really say to somebody that you're just trying to be friends with? Like, it's not like a girl that ass like it could be. (laughs) I would be impressed. But I did receive one response recently that I, I really did enjoy. I was I sent something generic again. Mm-hmm. Here I am bashing the generic people and here I am being generic. But I was like, hey, gal, what are you up to on this fine Friday or something <laughs> like that? Right. That's cute, though. <laughs> what are you up to? What's going on? How are you? Something to that effect. Mm-hmm. And I'm going to be honest. <laughs> Here's the generic response. I'm good. How are you? Like, I can't get into that. <laughs> but this one girl, she did hit me back and she said, do you want the usual fine or do you want to know how it's actually going? And I was like, okay, hold on. Wait a minute. Uno reverse. We could be friends. You <laughs> We're want to already get some spilling tea and there's no pot, sis. <laughs> exactly. Damn. Hell yeah. Pour it up. I mean, that is like really the 95% is going to tell you I'm fine, even though their dog probably has diarrhea and they're having a terrible day. And then the other 1% is like, I'm going to keep it a buck 50. So I'm really just sifting for the needle in the haystack out here. Not asking for much. Just want to know if you were trying to share a charcuterie board and if your karaoke song go to is also promiscuous because I could be Nelly or Timbaland. (laughs) You don't even have to decide because I can do both. So <laughs> that might be what's on my profile. I think it's a catch. I don't know. But it's really hard out here. And I have had no takers to like get together. People always say like, yeah, let's get together sometime. Right. But then it's just like the time comes and they're like, something, something comes up. So if you have any advice for how to find friends out here in these post pandemic, well, I guess post-ish pandemic times, yeah, post-ish. let me know. Because I just yeah. don't really be knowing what makes someone more or less appealing for, for friendship. <laughs> it's, it's a very, very odd little experiment they have going on with this Bumble yeah. BFF. But I'm into it. If, if you don't like them, you just you don't even have to talk to them again. So yeah. that's a pro. That is a pro. And I mean, it's just like first conversations are so strange, I think, with everybody. Like you're like okay, am I being cool? Like, it's not a lax place yet. You're like, hmm, okay. Can't get anything too weird to eat. Like, I want to keep it, like... I mean, and then I have thoughts of, like, I could be anyone. (laughs) (laughs) I could roll up to to dinner with these people and be like, yeah, I'm an astrophysicist, and my uncle is Elon Musk. And they'd be like, what the fuck? And then it starts raining (laughs) Teslas. (laughs) Yeah. I mean, you could really be anybody, but... 
I don't know. It's it's tough times out here. I thought like finding a man was hard, but really just trying to like snatch finding a couple. Finding a man is easy. It's easy in comparison. And I don't know when when there's no chase to be had. It's just very like how 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 do you use one secure friends on Bumble? Slide in the DM. Let us know. I think what you're doing is perfect because it's what you want to do. So that's what I say. Do what you want to do. If you've got the desire to, you know, if you, when I say desire, I really mean like time because that's time and energy that you're trying to take to like not only match and meet with somebody, but like set it up and follow through and then continue a friendship after that. Like it, I don't know. I think from the friendship perspective, like you've met so many people in and out of your life. It's like, they really have to hit you with that bizarre. Mm hmm to wow you for you to be like yo i don't want to keep texting them like i don't know it's very interesting little dichotomy for real yeah so i recommend if you are just looking to maybe like chit chat a little bit i did meet one individual on there and she um is from somewhere in south america i cannot recall off the top of my head i want to say like ecuador or something she speaks spanish and she wants to learn english so i was like okay you know, studying Spanish in college, I was like, okay, I can like speak Spanish to you and you can respond to me in English and I can like yes. help you learn English. So it's, it's cool. I mean, it's that is cool. a lot of avenues for networking. If, if friendship is not really an option or you, that you find that sis is just dry. Um, yeah. Other opportunities out there, but let a gal know if you want to get queso, I'm down. <laughs> 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 so that's, that's what I've been up to just out here swipe swipe you might be next who knows <laughs> <laughs> are you notified if somebody doesn't want to be your friend well okay so it's really interesting that you asked that because i actually um recently was swiping and i saw someone from high school right that was on there and i was like do i match them just for them to not match me and be like bitch <laughs> yeah so, i didn't do it i couldn't do it i was like i'd rather just not know because then I would ch- it would change my perspe- perception of them. Like, maybe they think I'm uncool, which is <laughs> n- uncool. But now they think that you think that they're uncool. And now I know how they really feel about me. And sometimes I just prefer not to know. So I didn't, I didn't swipe. And maybe they swiped on me. And they're like, wow, maybe now they think I think they're uncool, which is... Yeah, I think so. It is what it is. <laughs> <laughs> That's the beauty of the app, baby. But y'all... We're, we're so gonna, happy to be back. We are so happy to be back. We are out here clearly trying to find ourselves and friends, and we are so excited for you to tag along on the journey. We are really going to try and bring those guests for y'all this time around. Yes. And it's going to be on and popping. So if you have any suggestions, ideas, thoughts, inquiries, let us know. Han, where do they find all that information? Pull out your smartphone or device. (laughs) Go to Instagram. If you don't have Instagram, get it for this specific reason. Go ahead and type sync underscore podcast. That is S-Y-N-C-D underscore podcast. And there you'll see cute little pink and blue with the headphones. In our bio, we have our link tree. Within there, you're going to find the link to donate. Are you dropping the donation link in there? Oh, drop in like it's hot. Okay. You're also going to find links to stream, just all kinds of different stuff. We're also going to go ahead and put a link to this current episode in there. So get lost in there. Spend some time. We have a lot of great things in there. And like, I just pulled it up real quick and ugh, just takes me down memory road. <laughs> memory road lane circle court drive get me out of here (laughs) night night mama's gotta go to me (laughs) all right y'all well as always we appreciate you tuning in and we'll see you next time on a tune in tuesday we out peace (laughs) that was a good little peace Thank <laughs> you.